Good morning, Brooke Longmore here, your mindset and mental health specialist on this sunny Sunday morning, right? What I'm going to speak to you about today is setting goals, right? Understanding your own story gives you the power to change it, right? That is the key theme that runs through what I do. If you understand yourself, you hold the key to change your life, to transform, to make powerful changes, long-lasting changes, not just changes that help you feel good for a couple of months and then you just go back into the old patterns. And today, I am starting back my walking. Okay, so I'm just going to speak to you about setting goals, but also give you an example of what I've been doing recently, right? Now, you might hear a lot of motivational speakers talking about just do it don't procrastinate if you put it off you just kid yourself on right and i guess i'm here to tell you something completely different okay um i'm not just about motivating people i am about helping people understand the power of their own mind their personal story and i think we all have a place we, everybody that comes in terms of mindset has their place. You'll be drawn to different people at different times. And I think that's great because sometimes I do believe it is about just doing it, right? I love motivational speeches sometimes when I need oh, kick up the backside. Not often that I need that because I keep myself working quite hard. I <laughs> have my own motivational speaker. Right, but goals, right? So let's talk about how we start something that we've been putting off, right? So I haven't been walking as much as what I did previously. And the reason being is, I suppose the weather hasn't helped, right? But what I was needing in terms of my own personal development over the last couple of months is much more meditations. So I really had to slow it down. So going out and walking and doing big exercises wasn't really fitting in with where I was at with my life and my plan and my own personal development. So I had to really, really slow it down, right? But I knew last Tuesday I looked up the weather. I don't ever really look up the weather, but I did this week. I felt jaunty looking up the weather. And I looked up and I seen Sunday was to be sunny and I was like, that's, that's it. That's the day I start my walking back. And what I've been doing all week is preparing my mindset for this day. So getting myself ready, knowing that that is absolutely when I'm going to start, right? Now, when we're working like that, we make that commitment, right? So I made a huge commitment to myself. That is the day I start back, right? So nothing is going to get in the way of that because when I commit to something, I commit, right? And I can be pretty impulsive at times as well, but I'm starting to really, really give myself, my mind, my body, my soul exactly what it needs so meditation slowing down was what i've been needing but i knew sunday's the day sunday is the day right preparing my mindset right so doing starting to move make that transition from the slowing it down to starting to gather momentum ahead of today and i'm super super excited to get out this morning right so when we want to get back into something that we haven't been doing for a while, sometimes there is that transition period, right? But that transition period has got to be a commitment. It's got to be a period of commitment, right? And I always say to my clients, right, see if you're procrastinating, you know, right? See when my clients say, well, I'm not going to do that now, I'm going to do it X time. Then I'll say, are you procrastinating or is that what your soul needs? Oh, the answer always comes, and if it's what their soul needs, they'll say, no, that is what my soul needs. If they're procrastinating, they'll go, hmm, I, I could do it before then, right? Ask yourself the questions, right? But see, sometimes if we just jump in and we just go for it, it's not what our soul needs at that time. And impulsive actions don't always lead to long-term results, right? So see, sometimes, right, it's a transition period, it's about getting the mind, well suppose where is the mind, right, that's the brain, but the mind, <laughs> right, but getting the brain, <laughs> so getting the thoughts, uh, getting the head in the gear, right, 
the transition period. So setting yourself a commitment. So it's not always about, oh, get up the day and get out and get walking. That's not always what it's about. Sometimes it's about getting the mindset right beforehand. Committing, setting the date. <coughs> Excuse me. Committing, setting the date and then getting the mindset ready as you go. Right? Sometimes that works right. The key, again, let's go back to where I started. Understanding your own story gives you the power to change it. If you know you, if you know yourself on a deeper level, you always know what you need. Right? Key. Understanding your own story gives you the power to change it. Your mental health is my priority. I'm around today if you want to have a chat. You can message me across any of my social media platforms. I've been Brooke Longmore, your mindset and mental health specialist. And I'm going out to walk. <laughs> have a super Sunday.